This is the most anticipated video that's going to be uploaded to my channel. This video will show you how to install Android on the Kindle Fire HD 7 -inch. We're gonna do a few things to the Kindle first. Go to settings and then go to device and then enable allow installation of application from unknown source. Then go back and then go to security and then we're going to be enabling ADB. Now go to Kindle Fire Store and then download ES File Explorer. Free application, just download it. We're going to be downloading five files to our computer. It should not take more than 30 minutes to download all of these files. We're gonna do a few things to make it more organized. Create a new folder on your desktop and call it Kindle Fire HD 7. Now transfer all the files that you have downloaded and transfer it to this file. Do not extract anything. We're gonna make it more organized first. Create a new folder, call it transfer. And then transfer CM11 file and gaps to this file. Now create another folder, call it driver. And then transfer the Kindle Fire HD ADB driver to this folder. Create another folder, call it root. And then transfer with restore by binary and then transfer that to root folder. Now create another folder, call it twrp, twrp, and then transfer the recovery file to this folder. Now let's do one by one. Open up driver and extract Kindle Fire HD ADB driver. And then now we're going to be installing the driver. After that is done, go to root folder and then extract this file. Now open up runme.bat. Connect Kindle to your computer and then press one on the command prompt. And then it will tell you to unlock your device and press backup my data. Now once that is done, you're gonna press something on the command prompt to continue. Then click restore my data. It will take some time. And then press something on the command prompt. Then it will go to reboot. It will re reboot twice in this process. So just don't worry about it. Right now you will see the Kindle has been rebooted, but it's going to reboot again. And it might show that something, it, it could not find some file, but don't worry about it. Your Kindle is fine. So it's gonna reboot twice, like I said. So once the reboot has been finished, it will tell you to unlock your device and press restore my data. So we're gonna do that right now. Unlock it. OK, and then press restore my data. Now this will take another five minutes. It will just reboot once. This reboot will take you a few minutes. After it's been rebooted, your Kindle is now rooted. Now if you press something, the command prompt will be closed. Now open up Tor folder and then extract the recovery zip file. Now transfer the recovery file to your Kindle. So go to computer and then Kindle and then internal storage and then go to download and then transfer this recovery file to your Kindle. Once that's done, open up transfer folder and then transfer CM11 and gas uh, zip file to your Kindle. Do not extract it because you don't need to extract them. Now let's go to the Kindle. So let's unlock it and open up ES File Explorer. Go to download and then go to twrp and then open up the apk file and then now let's install this fireflash application now open it up do what i am doing right now so check that box and then uh for here browse for the freedom boot file so right here and then open up the freedom boot image now check this box and then recovery partition check the recovery image file now check this box, which is right there, disable recovery and auto update. Once that's done, this is what it should look like. And then now we're going to be flashing it. So right there, it says flash and install image. So we're going to be flashing the stuff that we're doing. So press OK. Now we're going to be uh, rebooting it to recovery or Torp Team Win Recovery project. 
now your Kindle should uh, reboot to Torp. Now we're going to be back on uh, backing up the Kindle OS. So back up, check every single box, and then swipe to back up. So just in case something fails, we have something to fall back to. Once that is done, we're going to go back to Torp, back and then back again, and then go to wipe and then just swipe to a factory reset. So our Kindle Fire uh, OS, it's now just wiped. Now go back and press install. And then we're going to be installing CyanogenMod. So download CM11 file and open that file up. So swipe to confirm flash. Now right now it's installing Android. Then we're going to be installing Google Play Store after this which is called gap so go back and go to install and now we're going to be go to install again and then we're going to be installing gaps swipe to confirm flash now that will take a little bit of time now once that is done we can just reboot to system because everything is now installed so reboot and then system Then you will see the Cyanogen mod loading logo. Now you have Android. Just set up your Cyanogen mod and Google account, and you should have uh, Android 4.4 KitKat running on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. I would recommend watching this video at least twice before doing this because you can easily screw things up. If you followed this video completely, watched everything, you should have Android on your Kindle Fire HD. This probably is the longest video on my channel. Anyway guys, this took more than 5 hours to record and edit. I would really appreciate it if you like this video. Thank you for watching.